It's time for two truths and a lie. Ready? Okay. Number one. In the Midwest, it rains on average between 20 and 47 inches each year. Number two. The inspiration for Velcro was the burrs that stick to your socks and pants when you're out walking in nature. Number three, the best thing you can put on your feet is a great pair of boots. If you pick number three as the lie, you'd be correct because the best thing you can put on your feet is a great pair of socks. Even the sweetest pair of boots becomes bitter if your socks are no good. Welcome to Stray Reviews, I'm Lee and I'm here to help you find the best men's lifestyle gear and apparel. And today, I'm reviewing the Camel City Mill Merino Crew Socks. Now if you watch my channel, then there's a pretty good chance that you also watch a channel called Boots By. Well, if you watch Boots By, then you know about William, and William from Boots By is also an entrepreneur who created his own boot socks. And not too long ago, he reached out to me to see if I wouldn't mind trying them out. I figured that if a ravenous boot enthusiast like William was making his own boot socks, then they must be good. So I decided to wear the lightweight wool work sock exclusively for 90 days. The Camel City socks are made from 53% merino wool, 38% nylon, and 9% spandex. They have cushioned heels and toes. They have additional ribbing along the sole, venting to let your feet breathe, and they offer some light compression around the calves. These socks also come with a 10 year guarantee. So if you manage to get a hole in them, or as we used to call them, a toe choker, you can send them back and they'll send you out a replacement pair. The Merino Crew socks go for $25.99 a pair, and they're made in North Carolina, so it's almost kind of like they're being made in the US of the US. I'll leave a link to these down in the description below if you want to take a closer look. So how do I feel about having these on my feet exclusively for 90 days straight? We're going to look at the good, the bad, and the bottom line. Alright, let's start off with the good of the lightweight wool work sock. Well, first of all, these really are great boot socks. I'll just say that up front. They're slightly taller than the socks that I'm used to wearing. And I discovered that I actually really preferred that the height of the socks on these Camel City Mills is what I preferred when wearing boots. And not only are they tall, but not one single time in three months did these socks ever slide down. Now I get pretty annoyed when I have to yank up my socks all the time when they slide down or when my socks kind of like slowly get pulled down by the collar of my boots, but this never happened with the Camel Cities. Also, even though I felt like these socks kind of ran a bit warm, never once did my feet sweat or stink in these socks, even in warmer weather. The padding on the toe and the heel of these is actually pretty substantial as well. Normally, I like to wear like slippers or slides around the house when I'm just kind of hanging out, but I actually didn't really feel like I needed to slip on my slippers because the socks were enough. And if that last statement made me look really old, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Lastly, these really are comfortable socks, especially after they've been worn and they've been washed a few times and had a chance for the 38% nylon to soften up a bit. They might be classified as sort of work socks, but they're going to continue to get a lot of wear out of me whether I'm working or not. Okay, let's talk about the bad of the Camel City Mill Merino Crew Socks. Now, besides being something that's like hard to film a lot of clips of for this video, there's really not much to complain about here. I have to admit that it's been a long time since I've worn socks made for manual labor, so I had to get used to them at first. Like I said, these are 53% wool, 38% nylon, and 9% spandex. So for a guy who wears almost exclusively cotton socks, it took a few wears to adjust. Also, these socks were a bit warmer than I expected, which is a good thing in cooler weather, but 
for the first 30 days here where I live, we had temperatures in the 80s. But at least, even though they were warmer than I preferred during those 80 degree days, my feet really didn't sweat. Hey, what's your sock material of choice? Let me know down in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna give you my bottom line opinion, but if you're getting some value out of this today, then I wanna invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you'll catch my upcoming reviews. Okay, the bottom line is that the Camel City Mill Merino Crew Sock is a great sock for guys who just like to wear boots, whether they're working in them or just hanging out in them. They're warm, they're comfortable, and they never slide down. At least they never slid down on me. And I'm gonna plan on wearing these socks well beyond this 90 day challenge. And William was nice enough to send along a pair of the heavyweight socks as well. And I'm looking forward to enjoying them during the much colder weeks of winter. If you wanna see more reviews, then check out this one here. I wanna thank Camel City Mills for providing these socks for review. My opinions are my own, and I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you over in the next video.